Ah, all my friends at Bass University, uh, the dean, the dean, Pete Gluzik. I like that right there. It sounded more prestigious. Uh, asked me, he said, Z, will you do a, uh, a, a quick little seminar video on cracking a tube? Um, and, and really, cracking a tube is something is really something that I did, I started doing when I was in my early teens throughout the Midwest. And one of the biggest misconceptions about cracking a tube is uh, it is absolutely not a smallmouth gig, uh, only a smallmouth gig. It's po very powerful for smallmouth. It is a spotted bass deal. It is exponentially one of the best techniques that, that I, I've grown up uh, fishing for largemouth. And the other side of cracking a tube, I, I have not seen many places throughout the country that it doesn't work. I mean, my gosh, like Table Rock, places like that, Smith Lake in Alabama, the only place where, where I don't crack a tube is in mud, in dirt. Uh, everywhere else, I will go to work with this thing. Uh, if you really look at my setup with this, I still use all straight fluorocarbon eight pound Seaguar Tatsu fluorocarbon and go. The reason for that is if I put braid on this, it makes the tube way too reactionary. Uh, and I, as I go through this, I'm gonna explain what that means. I want it to be a lot more dull than braid would make this. If I'm cracking a tube with braid, that thing's gonna look like a buzz bait under the water, okay? The straight fluorocarbon uh, it also acts as a shock absorber when one eats it. One of the big misconceptions of it is, is that you're moving it a long way, okay? When I'm sitting there bouncing my rod like that, that that's the whole gist of it. You're bouncing your slack. You're not bouncing a, a, a tight line when you're, when you're cracking a tube, okay? You're, you're really just bouncing the slack. And the other side of this is, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take an open hook, you know, uh, just a regular open hook tube, and I'm not going to throw that into a milfoil bed that comes to the surface. Um, I want more of a sparse cover for this. Don't get me wrong. I'll fish it in, in, in a, a lot of rock. I'll, I'll try to crack it around, you know, thinner areas of brush uh, or grass. But what I, I'm, I'm generally looking for some sort of an edge, okay? And, and when I'm doing this, I'm purposely wanting, when I'm bouncing that slack, I'm purposely wanting that bait to grab something. Grass, gravel, um, I'm wanting it to grab something because I generally think in my mind, they're staring at it. They're staring at it, they're staring at it, they're staring at it, and when it cracks loose a bit, that's when they get it. And a lot of people watch how I set the hook like that. One of the reasons why. It's Mike Iaconelli, this is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. And that's why you want to check out Bash U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bash U TV.